Hi, readers and families. For this book, I'm going to do something a little bit different. While our goal is to ask and answer questions, we're going to do something called close reading. So first, I'm going to go through and read the story. And then we'll go back and reread it and talk about it. This book is called, it's titled, Officer Buckle and Gloria. It's written by Peggy Rathman. This book is so hilarious. It's one of my favorite read aloud. By the way, I say that about most books. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Napville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered this morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared with laughter. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident.
The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said. Officer Buckle, they said. Our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. On the back of their pictures, or excuse me, look at the pictures on the back of their shirts. Do you see what they have on them? When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. can see there's a mirror behind his couch that's reflecting what the television is showing. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Can she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest 
accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone sit, slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. Uh -oh. What was Mrs. Topple standing on? The next morning, a pile of a, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss. On the nose, Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best. Oops. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101, always stick with your buddy. Okay, I'm going to add another video where we go back and close read and ask and answer questions. Happy reading!